Hi, I'm Jenny Williams. I'm from Dixon College. I'm part of the UAV Dixon College team, the Outback Challenge. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today about the Hogan, which is the plane we'll be using. <coughs> so the Hogan has large square wings, the motors at the back making it a pusher airframe, and it also has a V-tail. We use the Spectrum DX8 transmitter. Under the nose cone, we have the receiver and the batteries for the receiver. The reason why we have the batteries at the front of the plane is so that we bring the weight forwards, keeping the centre of gravity. On the side we have the radio control receiver power switch, the bind plug and the um, arming plug for the propeller. At the back of the plane we have the motor, which is a 90 size electric motor, and we also have the 120 amp speed controller. At the back of the tail we have the booms and the V-tail. We had to redesign these because uh, when they came, they came in such a way that we would have to keep the whole thing glued together. So we've redesigned this for shipping and moving purposes. On the top of the plane we have these removable covers which are interchangeable depending on what equipment we would like to use. Um, under this cover here we have the 900 megahertz XB radio which will uh, connect up to the autopilot. The autopilot does the navigation for the drop mechanism and it takes information from the GPS to determine the position of the aeroplane and times the drop. This is our radio. It is a 5.8 gigahertz ethernet bridge radio and it communicates to the ground station radio which is connected to a PC which does the auto pattern recognition. Uh, this is the camera that we're using. It is a network or IP camera and it's going to be mounted on the bottom of the plane. With the drop mechanism we're currently testing a few different approaches. Um, this is a little bit difficult because we're using a pusher plane so we've got a few issues with the chocolate bar hitting the propeller at the back of the plane. Um, currently we're using an off-the-shelf servo-based drop mechanism. Uh, this just sticks onto the bottom of the wing or the fuselage and just drops when we send the signal. Uh, on the actual bomb itself that we're using is a modified extension cord safety container and it will contain the chocolate bar and just clips onto the drop mechanism. Another approach that we're taking to the drop mechanism is to launch it backwards out of the plane. This is to cancel out the forward velocity. This is to make the drop more accurate.